is an Indigo Minute featuring Will Schwalbing. Some of the most beautiful lines in the End of Your Life book club exist in your reflections of your mother. Was it cathartic to write about her this way? It was cathartic and also it was just a great way to continue the conversations. I didn't want them to end and because of this book they didn't have to. A special photograph in which your mother is reading to her grandchildren makes a few appearances in the book. You describe your instinctive urge to take the picture and how you felt thinking about it after her passing. Where is that picture now? That picture lives on my iPhone, so it's with me right now, and, and I take it around with me all the time. This book is wondrous praise to so many other books. Have you been contacted by any of the authors since writing your own book? Um, I've been in touch with one or two, but the book is so new out that, uh, not yet, but I, I heard from uh, Sheila Weller, who wrote Girls Like Us, and uh, she was really excited about it, and we're going to have coffee in New York when I'm back. Your mother was a huge fan of correspondence. Emails, letters, you name it. Do you know if she ever wrote to any of her favorite authors? I don't think she did. Uh, I don't think it would have occurred to her to write to her favorite authors. That's such an interesting question, but not that I know of. What is your favorite writing tool? Pen, pencil, or keyboard? Keyboard. When is the last time you wrote an actual letter? Oh, probably a week ago. You mentioned that sometimes you read a wonderful book and wish your mom was here to speak with you about it. What are some books that you've read recently that have made that impact on you? Definitely The Headmaster's Wager by Vincent Lamb. It's a book she would have loved. The Sense of an Ending by Julian Barnes. A book of poetry called Left Handed by Jonathan Galassi. Those would be three recent ones. What was your absolute favorite book as a child? Well, as a little, little child, it was uh, the story of Ferdinand about the bull who wouldn't fight, uh, and then later, The Hobbit. You're the founder and CEO of Cookstart.com. Which cookbook do you believe should be in every kitchen? Ooh, that's a good one. I think it should be Julia Child, Mastering the Art. Uh, it, it's a classic. What is your favorite taste or texture? My favorite taste is pickled. And my favorite texture is gelatinous. And finally, some questions from the Proust questionnaire. The natural talent you would like to be gifted with? Uh, mute. I'd love to play the piano. Your favorite prose authors? My favorite prose, Christopher Isherwood, uh, is head and shoulders above everybody else. Your favorite hero or heroine in fiction? David Copperfield. And your heroes in real life? My heroes in real life, Barack Obama, is a hero, uh, and my mom. This has been an Indigo Minute featuring Will Schwalbe.